Capricorn. Welcome. We're going to do a general read for you. Uh, keep in mind it is general. Let's see what is going on for you in your current energy. And uh, we'll have a look at the possible near outcome as well. Um, what's working for you, what you need to be aware of. And currently, if I can get that straight, we see the three of wands showing up, followed by the six of pentacles, the four of wands, and nine of pentacles. You're getting a taste of the future. You can see the things that you want to do, places you want to go. Um, you've got a general sort of storybook idea of where you would like life to head. With what's going on, we see the Six of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. It seems like you have somebody new in your life where there is some reciprocation, some equal give and take, where they are... Um, where it's giving you the idea that this could actually be a more together type of idea with possibly moving in and going forward in the future. Uh, I guess that's a big change from what's going on and what I see in social media. Uh, and you see this as being really, really good for you with the Nine of Pentacles. Now, a desire is the Knight of Swords, followed by the Emperor, the Two of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. You're really wanting to take some uh, big steps towards this by the looks of it, possibly with this person. It makes you feel kind of on top of the world with the Emperor. We see the Two of Wands and the Ace of Wands, but there still needs to be, there's still a choice that needs to be made in order for this to go forward. And there may be somebody that's being a little stubborn around it. Uh, this could be you, this could be that. However, when we look at the outcome, we see the judgment card. Let's clarify this. We have the two of cups. Interesting. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see if I can bring this out because it's really interesting. Um, are you choosing this person to be your person. Does that make sense? May not. It's just something that came through. I was just like, what? Um, are you going to choose this person to be your person? This could be them. You, this could be them. So judgment card, two of cups, ace of pentacles, and the world. Um, There's something that may be unfinished somewhere with the Judgment card. This could be something that's come back around, like a Twin Flame or something. Uh, Ace of Pentacles, new work, new start, and the world. Um, it's like once you make this choice, all the other things start to fall into place. Um, orbiters? I don't know. That sounds weird. I don't know, typically use that word. Somebody have some orbiters around that they need to get rid of? I don't know. It's, it's weird. It maybe it means something to you. I don't know. It's just weird for me. Two of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Five of Cups. There's that juggling again. So that's their second two that showed up. Um, this juggling is a little difficult to do. It's starting to take its toll. Uh, you're having to hold back in different areas. And there, with the Five of Cups, it's like, this is just a... It's just messy. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I had a different choice of words. Um... <laughs> Keep in mind, I come from a construction background, so uh, sometimes those aren't uh, best said out loud. Uh, we have the Temperance card and what you need to be aware of, followed by the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Star. As things is, or, uh, things is can you in your life. As things... I can't even talk now. As things are shifting and changing, um, the hills and the valleys don't seem so bad, 
but as it's changing, it is affecting your future and how you look at that and how you work towards it. And with the star card, there's this hopes and dreams um, and everything is starting to shift that way. Like it's like, okay, uh, you're looking at the future and things are changing. You're directing these sort of solely on your own and it's, it's having an effect, but you may not be seeing it as a very, very uh, direct effect. Knight of Cups, Six of Wands, the King of Cups, the Five of Swords. Moving ahead in what you love to do, or moving ahead in love, makes you feel like you have things a bit more together. Uh, it makes you more emotionally calm. Uh, even when things may not be their brightest with the Five of Swords here, even when things um, or keep things emotionally under control or emotionally mature and caring when there is somebody that is acting out in a way that is uh, not in everybody's best interest with the Five of Swords here. Uh, it's not that all or nothing. Unfortunately, that sort of, sort of seems what the social media is putting in in a relationship is using one person to get something that they want and then having not having that togetherness idea where, you know, our grandparents or great grandparents were different. <clears throat> so a bit of a, an, an interesting uh, shake up there. So that's what I have for you today. Best of luck this week. We'll see you next time. Stay safe.